Hey everyone, Gator Mom here. I am participating in a collab today with the moms from the YouTube Mommy Meetup. Every day in the month of March, one of us is going to be posting a video regarding cleaning, kind of prepping to get ready to go into that spring cleaning mode. So it could be anywhere from organizing to product reviews to basically just how we do it, how we clean specific things, um, routines, scheduling, anything around that general theme. So I will make sure to put in the description box below the link to the YouTube Mommy Meetup channel where you can check out the playlist of everybody's spring cleaning tips. So today I am going to be sharing with you what I do on an everyday basis, how I keep my house crazy immaculate and looking beautiful all the time. However, that's just not true. It never happens. I am lucky if my kids have clean clothes. I have no routine or schedule and I'm a mom of three that barely keeps her head above water. So instead, I'm going to be sharing with you five tips on how I choose to control the chaos of it all. There are things that I do, yes, kind of on a daily basis, weekly basis, just ways that I like to organize my mind and my space heading into the topic of cleaning. So hopefully you'll get some tips and tricks. For my tip number one, this is something that I think is extremely important, but you have to be careful with it also. I think developing a morning and a nighttime routine, and I say routine very lightly because I don't like to follow by an exact routine or a schedule. However, I do think that having a game plan for your morning and for your night will set up your entire day and your entire week. So when I do these morning items and then the nighttime items, and it's like a cycle and it goes round and round and round, everything runs a lot smoother. So. My top three items for the morning that I do, first thing when I wake up is I try to unload the dishwasher because that sets the entire day. The second thing that I do is I make sure and make all of the beds. That's something that sometimes will get done and sometimes not, but it's really, really easy and it takes two seconds. It's just something I have to constantly work at doing. And then the third thing that I do is make sure to start a load of laundry for the day. I do my laundry every single day. I don't do like one kid one day, another kid another day. I used to, but it just didn't work for me. So I start a load every single day, sometimes two loads, and that's kind of how I keep up with it all. Then going into the nighttime, I have three things. The nighttime routine is a little bit more crazy because it's after dinner time and it's bedtime and it's like wrapping up for the day. But the reason I am here in my kitchen is because that is my number one thing for nighttime. I go to sleep with a clean kitchen. I try to, it, it doesn't happen every single night, but if I don't, it's one of those hot items that when I lay down, all I think about is all of the dishes in the sink and it really sets the tone for the next morning. So you have to kind of pick and choose those items that are most important to you. For example, my husband loves to go to sleep with a super clean master bedroom. I'm talking like vacuum lines in the floor, no dirty clothes like anywhere. But for me, I could sleep on a pile of laundry and sleep like a baby. But if my kitchen is a mess, I am a mess. So kitchen is number one. I make sure I start the dishwasher at night. The second thing I do is go through and do a declutter of the living area and kind of the dining room, picking up from dinner and homework and things like that. Because when I sit down after the kids are in bed, I'm going to be sitting in that living room. I'm going to be having my cup of tea or a glass of wine, depending on what kind of day it was. And I don't want to be looking at Legos on the ground or cars or books or what have you. So I make sure and I declutter that area. And then the third thing that I do is just do a really quick cleanup on the entryway. Sometimes I will have shoes everywhere. The baby will go up and pull all the shoes out of like the shoe cubby and they'll just be like book bags and papers and things from that day when the kids come in and just dump everything there. So I make sure and do just a little sweep of that front area. So those are kind of my hot topics for the morning and the night. And again, I don't really call them a routine because that stresses me out, but there are things that I make sure that I concentrate on starting and ending each day. My tip number two goes along with tip number one. It's kind of a continuation of tip number one, if you will. I think it's really, really important to have a plan or set goals for your week. Now, I don't mean a set routine or a schedule like I just talked about a little bit earlier. I mean just a general focus for your week. I have been using this Kate Spade planner for quite some time and I'm obsessed with the So Much Crafting on Etsy. Her inserts are amazing. I'll put the link to her shop in the description below. But I wanted to point out one little tab here that is all 
about my household and cleaning stuff. So without having to go in depth of the whole planner and how I plan and whatnot, I just wanted to focus on, like I said, the cleaning section of things. These are her cleaning inserts, which I have been kind of toying with for quite some time and I haven't really developed a set system for, but I am in love with her new daily tasks inserts. These are something that she just released, which is kind of a little improved version of this cleaning checklist, if you will. But basically it allows me to have my entire day or week on this one page. And it's not scheduled out day by day because when I sit and schedule an exact plan for the week, as far as my household and cleaning stuff goes, I get very, very lost. There's a lot of people that like to put exact dates as to like, here's my bathroom day, here's my floor day, et cetera, et cetera. I don't like that because life pretty much just gets in the way. I mean, that's just like, just, just like it is. So I like to just chart out for the week what I'm doing and get like a focus. So this right here is my little three morning things that I like to do, which I just explained to you guys, the emptying of the dishwasher, making the bed, starting the laundry, and then nighttime down here, which is just like the kitchen and the declutter and the entryway, which again, I just talked to you all about those two things. And I make a checklist because I like to check off as I do the things and then look back on the week to see, did I really follow through with those things and what does the week look like and etc cetera, etc cetera. and then during the daytime these things change week to week they're really just things that I like to make sure that I do in my day but again it's just a simple checklist if it doesn't get done it doesn't get done but it's basically a 30 minute devotional time slash reading time homework for the kids dinner prep which usually consists of like throwing something in the crock pot or making sure I have what I'm making for dinner that night a little 30 minute workout which lately has not been checked off but I like to do like walks with the kids or something just light like that I'm putting the laundry away, which is a big one. I'm really good at starting it, not very good at putting it away. And then I'm um, touching on my Gator Mom stuff for the day and my perfectly posh business. So those are just things that I'd like to touch on. But the main important thing on this tip is down here at the very bottom. I have two little columns and these are labeled weekly tasks. And down here are my cleaning things that I do every single week. They really, really need to get done on a weekly basis or they get out of control. And they're simple things. They're things like cleaning the bathrooms, doing the floors, dusting, changing out the bedding, washing the towels, cleaning out my van, and cleaning out the fridge and pantry, which usually gets done in preparation of going to the grocery store. Then over here on this column, which I feel is really, really important, are things that you want to tackle and accomplish. These are outside of your normal weekly or even monthly type things. Like I have tons of patio toys outside that I've got to go through. They're broken ones and they just need to be thrown away. I need to reorganize my pantry. I need to go through my oldest's clothes because he has outgrown a ton. I want to um, really product clean the kitchen cabinets and give them a fresh coat of um, like a, a wipe down basically. And then I want to put curtains up in my office. So again, these are just things I'd really like to accomplish in the week, but they're not weekly things that must get done. So this is just a little system that has been working for me as far as organizing. It helps keep me focused. It helps keep me less distracted in my day. And it makes me feel really nice at the end of the week when I have a bunch of little check marks here. So little tip there for number two. My tip number three for you guys is inside my laundry room. I'm going to be showing you where I keep all of my cleaning supplies. And the reason this is another tip for me is because it's something that I've perfected for myself over the past couple of weeks. I used to keep cleaning products in every single room of my house practically. I had all of the bathroom stuff randomly in a bathroom. I had some dusting stuff underneath the kitchen sink and it was complete chaos every single time I went to finally clean. I would wrap my head around, all right, today is bathroom day. And then it would take me 30 minutes to actually find where I had all of my cleaning supplies at. So I have decided to keep them all in one central location, which happens to be inside of my laundry room here, where everybody knows where they are. If my husband is randomly cleaning a bathroom for me on a Saturday morning, he knows exactly where to go to get all the product. And it makes it super easy when I'm getting ready to go to Target and make my list, I can come here, see what I'm low on and what I need and not have to walk all over the house 
to figure out what exactly it is that I need for that particular week. So in this cabinet, just really briefly, I have a couple things at the top here that I use to refill like some extra wet jet stuff, some more magic erasers, more wet jet cleaner. Over here is like granite and stovetop type cleaner for the kitchen. And then down here on this bottom shelf, I have in this plastic tub everything that I need for a basic clean, like whatever I would do on a weekly basis. I have my dusting stuff, I have my Clorox bleach spray, I have my toilet bowl cleaner, my cleaner for the bathroom, magic eraser, pretty much anything that I'm going to clean on a weekly basis, I just pull this tub out and I grab and go. So I can take this from bathroom to bathroom to different areas of my house and it's all right here and it's easy to go. So that's like what I use all the time. Then over here next to it are pretty much extras or things that I've had for a while that I don't necessarily need to throw away but I don't really use type thing. Just like some extra glass cleaner and some Lysol. I have some more floor cleaner like some pine saw back there. Then I have some Clorox disinfecting wipes. That's actually just an extra tub. And then like leather wipes, for example, for like my living room sofa, which I don't use all the time. So just kind of stuff like that in this general area. The only thing that I keep, which is going completely against what I just told you guys, is basically a Clorox disinfecting wipe container in every single bathroom that I have. And the reason I keep one in there is because I do like to wipe down my toilets and my countertops in the bathrooms pretty much on a daily basis. It just makes for that weak clean of the actual bathroom a lot easier. I like to wipe them down, especially like if the kids are in the bathtub at night, it's a great time to just pull this tub out and do just a quick wipe down of everything in there. So that is one thing that is underneath the sink in all the bathrooms. But besides that, everything else that I need to clean is right here in this one central spot. For my final two tips for you guys today, they might seem like things that you've heard before or things that you may already be doing yourself, but they're two tips that work really, really well for me. And number four is to constantly be picking up. When you enter a room to do something, there's always something in that room that doesn't belong there. When you're a mom, especially of multiple kids, they are like little tornadoes that like to just run around the house and put things in crazy places, especially moms out there that have toddlers. I have a two-year-old and he is constantly putting things where they don't belong. It's just in their nature. So one tip that works really, really well for me is when you enter a space, take something out of that room that doesn't belong there and take the 20 seconds to put it away because a couple seconds now will save you a lot of headache later. Entering into the nighttime routine, it might take you 20 seconds now, but later on it would take you like 30 minutes to do the same little tiny chore because you're exhausted and you're ready for the night to end. So that is my tip number four. Tip number five is a when all else fails, you don't know what to do, your house is out of control. For me, it's like sitting at like a Thursday or a Friday when I have done none of these tips that I'm explaining to you. What I like to do is two simple things. One, put on my sneakers. This is something that my mom taught me and she constantly tells me over and over again whenever I call her in a panic and I'm like, I'm having a stressful day. She says, one, put on your sneakers and two, set your timer. Two very kind of silly things, but they work wonders. All you have to do is literally get in the mindset that you're going to do something. When your house is out of control, I always view it as like, how do you eat an elephant? It's kind of like a one bite at a time kind of deal. So don't have any type of plan. Just literally one, put on your sneakers and two, set your timer. You can have 15 minutes, you can have 30 minutes, whatever the amount of time is, you will accomplish something in that amount of time. And what it will do is just kind of re-motivate you. At least that's what it does for me. Usually I'll set my timer for like 20 minutes and I will do a clean sweep of decluttering so that I can then take a step back, look at the space, see what I have to do, and then kind of re-evaluate from there. So there's a lot of weeks that I like to do that tip number five because life just kind of gets in the way. You have sick kids and you've lost control. So that is just something that helps me kind of get back on track. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. It's something a little bit different from me. If you have enjoyed it, please give me a big thumbs up and leave me a comment below letting me know and I can do more future videos similar to this one. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your week and thanks for watching.